Hey, hi, hello, y'all and all. So I was sitting here today, you know, trying to figure out whether or not I wanted to do a video. And initially I was like, nah, if I do a video, I gotta do my hair, I gotta get dressed, blah, blah, blah. And it's Sunday and I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> and in the words of Tabitha Brown, that's my business, okay? But I said, you know what? I'm gonna give y'all a little something. This is my collective thoughts throughout the week. Firstly, I just want to say I don't caught up on my insecure and baby. <laughs> I'm so excited about Lawrence and Issa. Y'all don't even know what kind of space it put me in when they first broke up. Like I was in her DMs. Like, how could you do this to me? How could you do this to us? What is wrong with you? My daughter said I was crazy, but yeah, I did. I did DM her, y'all. She never responded though, but okay. I got over that, but to see them together again really, really excited me. And I know some of y'all are wondering why I'm sitting here with a sweater on in my house, but it's none of your business, okay? But in case you still wanted to know, it's because I turned on the central air and I don't want to keep turning it off and on. And when I put it on below 73, then I'm freezing. Then when I put it on above that, then I get hot, okay? So mind your business, I'm going to keep my sweater on for now. Now, with regards to that, I'm excited. Tonight is the, the season finale of Insecure, and I just, I cannot wait, okay? A couple of things are exciting me. My mama is coming back with them raggedy-ass kids tomorrow. <laughs> and they're not really raggedy. I kind of like them. I kind of miss them. It's been two whole weeks, so I'm excited to see them tomorrow. But I got to get, you know, I got to do my hair and get dressed and go get them and all that, but... That's a whole nother different thing. Also, the season premiere of The Shy is coming on next Sunday, baby. <laughs> I am so excited. I am so excited. Y'all don't even know. Like, I am watching the previews and I'm looking at Papa and Kevin and Jake and they all got so big. I'm so excited. Lena. Lena. You don't even know. A sis is waiting. If we wasn't in quarantine, I would have a whole damn party. I would have a party. Now. <laughs> I wanted to ask y'all this. Did y'all hear that Johnson & Johnson was coming out with a vaccine for the coronavirus? Who the fuck is taking that? Who the fuck is taking that? Y'all motherfuckers was willingly giving people cancer through your motherfucking talcum powder. And you think we're going to take a vaccine that you give? You got to think we are some kind of fools. I don't want that. I don't want that. Y'all can have all that, okay? And lastly, I just want to say, I had to break up with my boo, y'all. And I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because me and the governor, me and Andrew, we was, we was getting close. I was, I was going to tell him I loved him and everything. Then he said that dumb shit talking about the statue of columbus should stay up because it represents all that italians brought. no cut the shit okay don't have step with me andrew don't have step with me don't be about black lives matter but still want this motherfucker to represent your whole nation this motherfucker who chopped off hands and made people wear them around their necks this one who raped and pillaged nations who is under the guise in the school books as discovering something that was never lost you can't want to tear him down in other states, but keep him up here in Columbus Circle. Why can't we make that the Black Lives Matter Circle? And put a whole bunch of the, the statues of people that we want to uphold and uplift in that circle. Because it damn sure ain't Columbus. Now, Black Lives Matter. Is you with me? <laughs>